Hi, my name is Henry Walsh, and I'm going to talk a little about this caravan situation because I've got a lot of friends who are you know, Republicans and a number of them who are Trump supporters, and they've been seeing some really horrible stuff on Facebook and Twitter and things like this, and I don't want to lose friends just because I, they're currently wrong. Okay, so I'm going to go over this in a way I think that might get through to some people, and it's not going to be the most polite. There might be a little bit of swearing. And uh, this is just a message I think that needs to be said. So the first and biggest argument I've heard is it's illegal to enter the country illegally. They can't, uh, they can't uh, seek asylum. And I'm actually imitating a friend of mine who's voiced to I'm in the South. That's what they sound like. Um, first of all, no, that, that makes no sense. First of all, the idea that you have to cross uh, at a legal checkpoint is stupid. And, and I'll explain exactly why that's dumb. So if these are uh, people who are seeking asylum, it means they believe that their lives are under threat and they are fleeing in order to protect themselves. It also generally means that someone actually is trying to kill them. Uh, and on top of that, it also means that the people trying to kill them probably don't want them to reach the United States. So if you say, well, you can only seek asylum if you come in through, like, you know, one of them, their uh, uh, special points. No, because then you're just telling, like, basically the people who want to kill these people, hey, yo, they're going to come right through here. So if they do come through, you know, so you can kill them. You're literally telling them exactly where they're going to be. Then the problem there is it's not like the U.S. can protect them either, because until they get in the U.S., um, our military, our forces, our border patrol, they can't do anything as long as they're on the other side of the border. So, in theory, the people who want to slaughter these people can just roll up and kill them, and our troops can't do anything legally. So, you don't say, well, you can only cross at a designated checkpoint, because that, that defeats the point of asylum. The point of asylum is to sneak into a country where your enemies don't know you're getting in, and then contact law enforcement and say, hey, I look, I'm seeking asylum, which is what these guys are doing. Everyone knows they're coming to the U.S. to seek asylum. It's 3,000 people who are traveling in a big caravan. This is not exactly um, the sneakiest of operations here, first of all. And, and, and we're going to come back to that in a minute. So... You're saying the, the other thing I got to say, this goes out to, I guess, like more Republican politicians and I guess the president, you know, Donald, tiny hands, tiny wiener Trump. Um, first of all, and anyone who says, uh, well, if they do anything, we can shoot them across the border. No, you can't. You can't shoot them across the border. What is, what's wrong with you? I mean, no, there's so many problems with that. I, oh, my God. Not only one would that be an act of war against Mexico, which means you'd be committing war, which is just a bad idea. Like, that is something you wish to avoid, generally. Uh, second of all, um, I'm it, that, that violates international treaties. Like, oh, my God, all over the place. Third of all, these are women and children, mostly. And they're unarmed civilian women and children, and you're shooting them because, what, if they do anything that... No, 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 God, no, that's literally the definition of a crime against you. That is a crime against humanity by definition. You don't, you don't do that. You, anyone who thinks you do that needs to be out of politics. Donald Trump needs to be out. Half of the GOP needs to be out because they are too dumb to be in. And, and this is another thing. The only, You notice since the elections, since the midterms, they haven't said crap about this caravan. Like, it's not been mentioned. But before this, every night, they were like, the caravan comes closer, this invasion. First of all, it's 3,000 people. The, the United States is very big. I, I don't know if you're aware of this, but the U.S. is big. Very, very big. This huge area. Uh, you can fit multiple other countries in our borders, right? Right. 3,000 people is not an invasion. It's a very bad invasion. Like, unless you have Superman with you or something, a 3,000 person invasion of the U.S. isn't going to work. Like, it's a really dumb idea. Um, it makes no military sense. I mean, I, I don't think you could take over, like, Douglas, Georgia with 3,000 people. In fact, I'm pretty sure the population of Douglas is bigger than that. I would have to go check. I don't think you could hold, like, any city with 3,000 people. I think you would, like, immediately get wiped because you're outnumbered. Like, I'm pretty sure there's more actual gang members in New York than 3,000, so no. Um, so so we'll, we'll get back to that in a minute. So um, let, me, let me tell you what you actually do um, in, in the event of 
a caravan of asylum seekers comes to the U.S. and enters. First thing you do, Republicans, and Donald Trump, God, I hate the idea that he's president. Anyway, the first thing you do is you shut the hell up. Straight just shut up because you're an idiot and you have no right to be talking about any of this because you don't know what you're doing. Second of all, you tell Border Patrol when they cross into the U.S. to meet them. And then you take them to a secured location. And this secured location should have shelter and food and water and medical supplies and interpreters and lawyers that specialize in asylum and immigration law. That's just what you do. And they should have doctors and uh, people who can talk to them because th these people need help. Right? And we help people. We're good people. That's what we do. Um, if you're Christian, that's what Jesus would do. If you're not Christian and you're just human, that's what you do. Because you're human. You help people. Um, anyway, so after you do this, the, the other thing you do is you protect them. Like, so if any idiots uh, show up like some dumb militia who's like, Ah, oh, we need to get rid of these immigrants. No, first of all, you drive them off. You don't let them get anywhere near the emergency. You don't let them harass them. You don't let them threaten them. You don't let them brandish weapons at them. Because they're they're mostly women and children, and they're tired. They're hungry. They're hurt. They're just people asking for help, and they're scared. And you don't let a group of gung-ho armchair soldiers threaten people who are tired and hungry and hurt. And scared. And if you think it's okay because they're entering the country sort of illegal, actually, they're entering completely illegally because they're asylum seekers, then, well, you're a bad person. Like, straight up, anyone who says it's okay to threaten scared, injured women and children is a bad person. Like, period. There's no, th no two bones about it. And, and it doesn't matter if you're scared. Like, it doesn't matter if you think that um, people are taking your jobs or if you think it's a threat to this country. That's never an excuse to, to threaten scared, injured, tired women and children or anyone who's tired, scared, and asking for help. And if you do that, then, then you're a bad person. So anyone who tries to do that to these people when they come across um, should be arrested. And if they're brandishing weapons, they should be treated like dangerous criminals and dealt with like any other criminal who would brandish a weapon. Like, that's just how it should go. Um, and you go through the steps, the legal steps, that and how this works, right? You go through the steps on how all of this goes down. Uh, you process them. You hold them, and if they're viable to be given visas to stay, you give them visas to stay. If they're valid for asylum, you let them stay under asylum. Um, if they're not, you process them, and after the period, I think it's 90 days, you, yeah, you can send them back. And uh, I think if they're criminals who um, have committed a crime in the U.S., and again, entering this method and seeking asylum is not a crime. It's not a misdemeanor. Anyone who says that doesn't know the law. They don't know what they're talking about. And, um, yeah, there are people who need help. I, I don't know how else to say this, and I don't know how many people are going to see this video, and, and I don't know how many people are interested in seeing me. I mean, I'm just a guy who, I mean, I don't, you know, I'm not a politician. I'm kind of not, ex I mean, I'm a dude in a wheelchair, like, you know, have considered running for state house, but it's neither here nor there. If you want to be a good person and you want to be good at Republican, you want to follow the, the rule of law, which is important. I, laws are important. Then you have to understand what these people are doing is completely legal and they're just asking for help. And if it gets to the point that you are so scared that you want to turn away injured, tired, hungry, scared women and children... I think you need to take a look at yourself and realize something's really messed up because that's not what anyone would do. No no one, no one who's good in any way would do that. Another thing also is I'm, I'm really tired of people, aside from the 3,000 not being an invasion and would be a very stupid invasion, I, I'm pretty sure there are Walmarts that 3,000 people couldn't hold. That's probably an exaggeration. Maybe. Um, let me explain something else. You don't sneak into a country where 3,000 people. 
If you can sneak into a country with 3,000 people, you deserve to stay. If you can sneak into the U.S. with 3,000 people, that's a lot of people. If you can sneak into the U.S. with 3,000 people, you deserve to stay. Not only do you deserve to stay, you deserve to be training our Navy SEALs. Because you are better than they are. A lot better. And we just should be like, okay, you can stay, but you need to show us how you did that. That's. I'm pretty sure the CIA would be down with that. I'm fairly certain our military would be too. And if not, if not, and you can sneak into the United States with like 3,000 people, um, it, maybe Japan. Just be like, hey, we found the people who actually mastered the art of invisibility. Maybe they can train some ninja clans or something. Um, that's obviously a joke. Uh, but I mean, I'm dead serious. It's, it's 3,000 people. They're not sneaking anywhere, right? Like, we can see them from, like, you know, helicopters coming literally miles away. This is not a clandestine operation uh, to destabilize America. You're, you're not going to do that. 3, Why are you that afraid? It's 3,000 people. Seriously. Uh, the, there are very... The um, U.S. has a lot of people, okay? Like, there are cities with millions of people in it that, I mean, I'm sure you know this, but if you're scared of 3,000, you may not. I mean, 3,000 people, there are office buildings with that many people in them. In the U.S., there there are 3,000 people in tiny little towns, okay? 3,000 people is not a lot of people. The U.S. is a very big place. 3,000 people, even if it was 3,000 armed special forces operatives, 3,000 people is not an invasion, okay? Get that through your heads. Not an invasion. Let them come in. Help them because they're people and it's the right thing to do. Have a good day. Good night.